Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Huber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from Puzzle Crate. This is the March box. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Ooh, we got two puzzles this time. All right, so these are the two puzzles. We have the Land Land Mosaic Cube and the Container Cube. So let's go ahead and start with this one. So it says, produced by Mofeng Jiaoshi, this puzzle is a shape variation of a cube. Jean-Claude Constantine originally drew up the design for this puzzle and then Tony Fisher later built a few of his own in 2006. Don't let its simple appearance fool you. It shapeshifts like crazy and it is deceptively difficult to solve. The build quality is great and it's a very playable puzzle. Best of luck. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so I remember seeing pictures of this puzzle a long time ago and not really having any idea what it was. Now, of course, we know it's a skewed shape mod and uh, I just gotta say it looks really cool. It's uh, it's just overall a kind of a very interesting design for a puzzle because it looks so simple, but like the card said, it's going to be difficult to solve. So let's go ahead and do some turning here. Um, whoa, that's cool, just doing that in itself, but... Um, yeah, the turning is pretty great. Turns really well. Um, so let's see how this shape shifts. Yep, just like that. So it looks like these two are still centers, uh, just like they, you know, it, you would think they would be, uh, which means this, these four must be centers as well. And that makes these pieces here the corners. So I don't really have too many skew shape mods in the collection. Um, this will be a good addition to it, but uh, I know that Tony Fisher has made quite a few of them, uh, you know, just over the years. And there's also been plenty that have been mass produced. I just don't really have that many of them. So um, this is gonna be an interesting one to try out. Skubes in and of themselves are difficult enough uh, just as a cube in terms of like trying to conceptualize how the pieces move, you know, if you're not familiar with it. So trying to do a shape mod is, is gonna be pretty tricky. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I think the hardest part is just gonna be center orientation, but I don't think that should be too tricky but it says it's deceptively difficult. So don't know exactly what that means, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot anyway. So let's go ahead and, and uh, scramble this up. Okay, so that looks like a pretty good scramble right there, and it looks pretty cool messed up. Uh, it's got all these very basic shapes, uh, but it still kind of all conjoins together to form a just really cool patterns and stuff. So. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and give it a shot. I guess we'll go ahead and start with uh, white. So we just have to get um, all the pieces around here around white. So we need a red piece just, you know, somewhere. So let's see, there's red. Uh, I don't know if it matters which red piece we use or if maybe if there's only one that can go in each spot. Uh, I guess we're about to find out because we need a blue piece right here. So let's see, how do we rotate this. There we go. So now we need uh, orange here. There we go. And then uh, green here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now let's just do the same thing basically on the opposite side. Um, let's go ahead and get the corners up first, which I think we might be able to do something like that, possibly. Okay, that did something. We've made some kind of progress here. Uh, it looks like we have the case where two corners are up and two are rotated. So we just kind of have to going to have to keep doing this until something comes together here. What's weird is that everything is flipped kind of from where it should be. Like, I wonder if that means that these pieces are in the incorrect spots. I really think it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and switch one of, uh, like a couple of these pieces out for maybe another one from the opposite side and see if that does something. Okay, so I'm basically just kind of redoing this whole layer now, um, just to see if it kind of fixes itself. Um, because I, I have no idea what the orientation of these pieces is kind of supposed to be like, but I think that did it because now all of these pieces are matching. So I don't know exactly how I did that, <laughs> but um, you know, that's kind of, it works. So it kind of just sounds like a representation of my life. <laughs>
Okay, there we go. Now all of these pieces are up. So now let's go ahead and put in this uh, white center. So we should be able to do something like not that. <laughs> um, okay, let's try this again. Something like that. And then we flip and we do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the white center is up. But now let's see if we can get these. It looks like we have uh, Z perm, which is not fun. So I think the way we can do orientation properly is just to do it like this way instead of the other way. So if we flip this and then go like so, some somewhere in here, we should be able to move. Oh my gosh, I just messed everything up. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> um, darn. What did I do? All right. Uh, let's not keep messing things up. Let's see if we can fix this. Okay, we got that back. But now all of these are flipped again. Dang it. Okay, let's try just doing what I did last time, which is basically just redoing this. Uh, and just seeing if that fixes stuff. Yeah, that fixed it again. Okay, once again, I don't know how I did that exactly. Oh wait, now I have the wrong color scheme, dang it. I am really messing things up now. And there, okay. Wait, no, I messed it up again. No, that needs to go on this side. There we go, okay. Okay, okay, now we have a U-perm. This should be easier. Let's make sure we don't mess this up, okay? All right, down, down, up, up. Now we flip over, do down, down, up, up. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, so that was not painful at all. <laughs> uh, man, so the card is definitely true. Very deceptively difficult. Not having a way to determine which piece goes on which side for these corners was really tricky uh, and totally made this super challenging. So yeah, definitely a, a very one of the, one of those puzzles were that looks way easier than it actually is. So super awesome puzzle. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so the next one is the Land Land Mosaic Cube. So this is says designed after Oscar Van Deventer's original Mosaic Cube. This can be seen as a four layered corner turning puzzle. The original Mefferts Mosaic Cube has been out of production for many years now and is quite rare. Luckily, Landland has made their own version and it even turns nicer than the original. Still, the turning is a bit stiff and could benefit from a few drops of lube. The solve is simple enough without the need for tutorials, but not too easy that it's boring to solve. It's a beautiful puzzle that looks great in any collection. So I'm really excited for this because the Mosaic Cube is one that I've been wanting to add to my collection for a very long time. I know this isn't the original Mefferts version and I would still love to have that version, but it's super rare and so expensive. So this is uh, definitely a nice alternative. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, here we go. So if you guys have seen the original uh, Mosaic Cube, you can immediately tell that this definitely looks a bit different, but it still looks really good. Uh, it's got kind of these gaps in the middle here, um, which, you know, don't look that great, but I don't know, if you if you don't pay attention to it, it just kind of bl all blends together. I think I still prefer the look of the original Mosaic Cube, but uh, this still looks good. It looks a bit more like modern, I guess, uh, with the curvy cuts and everything, but I still really like just how classic the original one looks. But anyway, let's go ahead and do some turning on this and just see how it moves. Um, so yeah, a bit stiff, but really not too terrible. Um, 
Yeah. So I honestly really uh, don't know how to solve this, <laughs> but uh, from what I can theorize, I think it might be similar to a higher order Minx puzzle. So if you just take like these two layers here and just look at it like this, it basically looks like the top two layers of a higher order Minx puzzle, like a professor's pure Minx or something like that. So I think the same solve concepts will generally apply uh, just to eight corners instead of four. I honestly really don't know though, if that doesn't work, I might try reducing it to a ready cube basically, where I basically just uh, combine this piece here, which is one piece with these two edges uh, and do that for all of the pieces. And then it basically is just a ready cube. That might actually work better Better. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll give it a shot and if I get kind of lost or messed up or something we could try doing it the other way. So let's just go ahead and scramble this up. All right, so that seems like a pretty sufficient scramble. It looks really beautiful all scrambled. Um, definitely I can see where the mosaic name kind of comes from. So I think uh, the way that I'm gonna go about this is actually, I think what we can do is basically we can solve this like a ready cube. And then I think after we do that, the only thing that's gonna be left are gonna be these little edges because these pieces here are connected, right? If we turn this out of the way, you can see that this is basically one big piece right here. So if we treat this like corners and these like the edges, um, this is a ready cube. So we'll go ahead and just go through a solve then. First, we'll turn up the white corners like that and then put in um, all of the white pieces which we can basically do something like that. And we can actually turn the corners independently of the edges, which is really nice. So we can put all of those pieces in even easier than we can on a ready cube. All right, so that white side is done. Let's go ahead and put in these middle pieces. This one's already in. This one we can just turn down here. Um, and then this one we can put right there and that puts this one right there. Okay. Now for the top, none of the yellow pieces are up. So we can just do our little four move cycle just to at least get a couple of them. So this one's already solved and that means to solve the rest, we just do, uh, we just do our four move cycle from the left side. And that should do it. Yep, there we go. And then we just have to turn up all of the corners, which is pretty easy. Okay, so now we just have to put in these pieces, which should be quite simple. So I'll give you an example. If we wanna put in this uh, white and red piece right here, uh, that's gonna come from uh, basically right here. So we turn down the spot it needs to go in. We turn up that piece. We bring that back and we turn this back. And so we just kind of do those kind of inserts for all of the other pieces. All right, the white layer is done. So that was really not too bad at all. So I think we'll go ahead and just try and get these middle pieces in next. And this is actually going so fast, I think I might just go ahead and do the rest in real time. So let's go for this piece. And done. How about this one? Boom, done. Uh, this one. And done again. And how about this one? Also done. And to get this one, we should be able to rotate that out of the way. Take the corner. Do a little bit of that. Now that one's in. For this one, we'll just rotate this up, turn down. Actually, we don't even need to rotate that one. There we go. And there we go. Now the middle's done. Um, okay, the top, let's see. To move this one, we'll just go pop that in right there. Um, Let's see, to do this one, we'll turn this over here, turn that up, that up like that, back, and we're done. Look at that. So I honestly could have done that whole thing in real time. That was uh, really not that bad. I thought that was actually going to take a bit longer than it did, but uh, just because of how the pieces move and where these uh, little edges can end up, 
they're never going to be that far away from being solved uh, in a place that's like, you know, you have to like do some algorithm to switch it to another location like you would on like a Kirby copter or something like that. So overall, a fairly simple puzzle, um, which is interesting because this looks so much more complicated than this, but this was actually far easier to solve than this was. So definitely a good example of how uh, deceiving looks can be when it comes to puzzles like these. But these are both really awesome puzzles. And uh, so yeah, this is a really great puzzle crate. So you got some cool stuff. But anyways, that's really about it for this month's puzzle crate. If you guys want to check out Puzzle Crate, I'll leave the link in the description. It's a monthly subscription service. It's $30 a month and you get new puzzles sent to you every single month. Anyways, that's about it for this unboxing. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.